Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube for beginners. And the first thing that we need to know are the pieces. Here are the corner pieces. They will always be a corner piece. These orange ones here are the side pieces. They'll always be a side piece. And then you have the center piece. It'll always be a center piece, no matter which way you rotate the cube. And then for the colors. Uh, here's the red facing us. The opposite of red is orange. The opposite of green is blue, and then the opposite of white is yellow. Next we have the rotation. Uh, in this video, whenever I say maybe the front side clockwise, that just means this. And then whenever I say the right side clockwise, uh, upside, and then here's the bottom, left, and then the back. And then here's just counterclockwise this direction. Alright, now since we got the basics done, let's go ahead and jump right in and solve this Rubik's Cube. The first step in solving a 3x3 Rubik's Cube is to get a white cross on the white side of the cube. And to do that, we're going to start off by having the yellow side facing up we're going to create a daisy formation with the white sides around the yellow center. So next we just have to find a white side piece, which is right here. So we'll just rotate it to a way that it'll go next to the yellow piece. So another one's right here. We'll just rotate the left side up. And then the last one is on the bottom here, so we'll just rotate the bottom piece 180 degrees. All right, so now we have the, the white daisy around the yellow center. The next thing that we need to do is see what color is on the other side of this white piece. So here is green. So we'll just rotate this until we get to the green side, and then flip this, the right side, 180 degrees. The uh, color on this side of the white piece is blue, so we'll just rotate it to the blue side, flip the right side 180 degrees. The other color to this white piece is orange, go to the orange side, flip it, and then the last white piece we have red, and we'll just go to the red side and flip this 180 degrees. So now we have the white cross on the white side of the cube, and to make sure that we have it correct, uh, you will see the colors match up. Orange, green, and red. Now we need to solve the white corner pieces. To do that, we just have to find the first white corner piece and see what color is on the other side of this white piece, which is orange. So we'll rotate the bottom to the orange side, so then that this piece will be on the right side. Now we know for sure that this white piece with the orange needs to go right here in this corner. And to get it up there, we just can't do this because we mess up our white cross. So we have to rotate that back. So what we need to do now is just rotate this bottom white piece out of the way this left side comes towards us and then we can go ahead and replace this piece back to where it needs to go and rotate left side back up. So then we went ahead and replaced this white piece. So now here's another white piece or white corner piece that we need to get on its side. Uh, so it's actually already on its side right here uh, because it's blue and blue. So we know that this piece needs to go right up here in the corner. And uh, just like before we can't just rotate the right, right side uh, clockwise because we're going to mess up our white cross. So we have to get this white piece out of the way first. Rotate the right side counterclockwise. Rotate it back. And then clockwise again. So just looking for another white piece right here. So when the piece is uh, on the upside, we need to rotate right and then out of the way, and then up again. 
so now it's on the bottom but that just moved another white piece up for us so uh, what we need to do now is uh, we'll just work on this piece that we originally moved down here and to get the pieces on the bottom uh, up so that we can see them we have to make sure that it's on the opposite side of us so when we rotate the right side the yellow piece faces us so we'll go ahead and just get it out of the way rotate the right side back so that we still have our white cross and then we'll just go ahead and uh, put this white piece where it needs to go and since it has red on the other side of the white let's just rotate this to the red side so that we know that this piece needs to go right here so to get this piece right here we need to rotate this bottom side out of the way rotate counterclockwise and then the bottom side back and then clockwise again so another white piece right here so since it has green on it we'll just rotate it to the green side we know that this piece will go here because the green and green so rotate it out of the way down right again and then up now we just have one more piece left which is right here and to get this on the bottom side again what we need to do is just rotate this front side clockwise get it out of the way rotate it back up so then we have our white cross still and then we'll just go ahead and uh, switch this orange piece to the orange side and then put it right up there in the corner so get it out of the way rotate the right side counterclockwise replace it and then go back up so to make sure that we have the white corners and the whites where they need to go this first row will be solved and then you'll see a small T with the, with the same color the third step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to get this middle layer all the same color and to do that what we're going to do is have this white completed side facing back or away from us so that the yellow is facing towards us and we're going to look for one of these side pieces that doesn't have any yellow in it so as you can see this piece right here has yellow and red so we won't use that piece for now here's a blue and red so what we need to do is since this top layer is red let's go ahead and rotate it to the red side so then we have a large T so here's blue and here's the blue side right here and red is on the top already so we know that this piece needs to replace this yellow and blue piece and to do that what we need to do is since we're going from left to right we need to move this front face to the left away from our target and I'll just keep my finger on this piece to know that we need to replace this piece right here so now what we need to do is this bottom piece since we're going from left to right we need to turn the bottom from left to right and then bring this right side down because we're replacing this piece so we'll bring this down now we'll just go ahead and replace these two by doing that we'll just move this middle layer and then we'll go up. So since we have already replaced this piece, uh, we just have to fix our white now. So to do that, we'll just rotate the one with the three sides. Okay, then we'll rotate it out of the way. Bring the middle piece down, rotate it back, and then go up. All right. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is have the white side facing back again the yellow side facing us and we'll look for a piece without any yellow in it so this one doesn't have any yellow it's red and green we'll rotate it to the green side and now we know that this piece needs to go here because the red and the red the green and green so since we're going from left to right we need to move this front face to the left and this bottom we need to move this way because we're going from left to right. So now this this uh, right side needs to come counterclockwise. 
because we're replacing this piece with this piece. Go ahead and turn it and then rotate the right side clockwise again. So since we replaced this piece now. But now we have to fix our white. So the ones that's already completed, the, the left side, we'll just rotate that up. Move this bottom side out of the way. Bring it down. Put it back and go up. White side facing back, yellow side facing us. We'll look for a piece with no yellow in it. So here's a piece right here. Orange and blue, it's already on the blue side because the blue is facing up. So the orange is on this side, so we know that this piece, this side piece, needs to replace this piece right here. So since it's again it's going left to right, we need to rotate our front face to the left. And the bottom needs to turn this way because we're going from left to right. And then we'll rotate this uh, this right side counterclockwise so that we can replace this right here. And then the right side clockwise again. To fix the white, just rotate that back up. Move the bottom side out of the way. Bring it down go up. So it looks like we just have one more piece left to replace. So white side facing away, yellow side facing us. We'll look for a piece with no yellow in it, a side piece. And it looks like they all have yellow. So what we need to do is just replace uh, this piece with uh, one of the yellow pieces and then we'll just have to do the rotation two times. So let's go ahead and just move since we're going from left to right, we need to move the bottom from left to right. Bring this right side down because we're going to replace this yellow piece with this piece right here. Rotate the middle, go back up, and then we'll fix our white. So with the yellow side facing us again, we'll look for a, a, a side piece with no yellow, or yeah, with no yellow in it. Here's an orange and green. So here is we need to rotate it to the orange side so that the uh, so we have a large orange T. So green and green, orange and orange. We know that this piece needs to go right here. So left to right once once again. We'll turn our front face left away from our place where it needs to go. The bottom side needs to go from left to right. And then we need to turn this right side uh, counterclockwise or towards us because we're replacing this piece right here. Just move it and then rotate it back up and then fix our white. Move it out of the way, bring it down and go back up. So now since we have our white completed and now we have the first two layers, the top and the middle, completed with the same color. So the first three steps in solving the Rubik's Cube were pretty simple and, and straightforward. This is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated because we have to memorize different patterns, algorithms, or just different movesets. And the last step that we did was we completed this middle section. We made all the colors the same. So now we have the, the white completed, we have this first layer, and then this middle layer. After we completed this middle layer, uh, when we flip the cube over, you'll see a pattern, a yellow pattern. And this is uh, one of three. You could either see just one yellow in the center, if you get that pattern, just go ahead and do these one of these move sets twice that I'll show you here in just a moment. I won't put it up on the screen. What I will put up on the screen is the the bar and also the, the move set for that as well. And since I went ahead and got this hook, I'll go ahead and show you this video. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and follow along with the pictures that I have on the side. So when we have the hook, we can't uh, do this next move set with it down here in the corner. It's going to have to be facing 
the top left hand side. So whenever you get the hook, just have it face this direction and then we'll go ahead and complete this next move set. So it's going to be the facing, uh, the front face clockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. And then we come up with this. So what we needed to do is just create a yellow cross. So after getting the yellow cross on top, uh, what we need to do now is uh, get the yellow corners. And uh, when we completed the yellow cross, you may have gotten from a few different other variations, which I'll have on the screen right now. Uh, but if you got the one I have, let's just go ahead and uh, get one of this yellow sides facing us. So just rotate this top so we have a yellow facing us. And then we can go ahead and start our move set, which is going to be the same move set for the other pictures on the screen. Which is going to be right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, right counterclockwise. So then this is what we, uh, what I like to call a fish, because <laughs> you have the tail right here and then the head. So let's just go ahead and keep the tail at the top right, so the head is facing bottom left. And uh, this is the way that you need to have it for the move set, otherwise it won't work. Um, and uh, since this is a yellow, uh, we have the fish, you know, where it needs to go, but we have a yellow right here. We need to get this yellow piece right here in the front. And to do that, we'll just do the same move set one more time. So it's right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, right counterclockwise. So now we have the fishy, um, but the the tail is in the wrong spot. So let's just go ahead and move that to the top right where it needs to go. And then we have the yellow side facing us just like what we need before it was over here but now it's right here. So now we can go ahead and do our move set one more time as long as we have the fish at the top, um, the tail at the top right and then the head bottom left. So the move set one more time is right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, and then right counterclockwise. And then we have the, uh, the top layer solved, the bottom layer solved, and then the first two layers. So now we just have left is the top layer. The next step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to get the corner pieces matching. In my case, I was able to get two of the corners matching, so we'll just go ahead and rotate the matching colors to the matching side. In my case, it's orange. Uh, so you might have gotten a piece where it's not matching right here, but that's okay. Just get the two corners on the main side for now. And then once you do so, go ahead and get that uh, almost completed side or fully completed side uh, facing back. And if you, if you came up where you don't have any matching corners, and that's okay, because I'll just go ahead and throw the picture on the screen right now with the move set so you can follow along with us as well. Um, but if you did get matching sides or matching corners, keep it uh, facing back, then we'll go ahead and do the move set for that, which is right counterclockwise, front clockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, and then right two times. It doesn't matter which way. And now as you can see, we have the same corners on each side. 
So we'll just go ahead and rotate them to their location. So orange, as you can see. Now the only ones that we have left are the, uh, the middle pieces. Since we already have our corners in the right position because you know it's all the same color, we just need to uh, replace these, uh, these center pieces or the middle pieces with the other middle pieces. And to do that in my situation, uh, this blue needs to go over here, which is going to be from left to right, which is going to be a, a clockwise circle. And now if you have a situation where uh, you know you get maybe one complete side, you'll just have it facing back. And then I'll have the picture on the screen for that algorithm. Uh, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do right now is uh, start off by having this blue piece go in a clockwise formation. And to do that, it's going to be a right two times, up clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, and then right counterclockwise. So now we do have a full complete side and we'll have it facing back. And now we just have three more pieces to solve. And uh, again, we have to go a clockwise rotation because we're going from left to right. And then this needs to go here. So clockwise. So it's going to be the exact same move set. And again, if you have to go uh, from right, uh, from left to right, it'll be a counterclockwise. And I'll have that um, still on the screen for you. So for a clockwise rotation, it's going to be right two times up clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, and then right counterclockwise. And then we have completed the uh, Rubik's Cube.